besides being such a, a, a very humble individual that you are, Crash, artists are definitely their worst critics. Yes, they are. Especially when it comes to their work. Yeah. So when it comes to putting a price tag on what you produce, like how do you evaluate what you charge? Oh, oh um, <laughs> good question. You, you charge what you think you're worth. You know, it's funny, but this, is like, this year is like my 45th year of painting, you mm. know? So what do you charge? So you, you think about your experiences and what you've done, and then, you know, you, you, you go back and you think about people you've met and influences, you know, that you've made and influences that, that, that influenced you. You know, so there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. But, uh, okay, example, my first paintings were going for like $200 you know, 1980, $200, $250, and you know, cool, whatever. But those same paintings, if they still, if, this, if, if the people have them, because of, you know, because of the way things are, those same paintings are probably going for 50,000, 60,000. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's just, you know, age, experience, but it's, it's generally what you think you're worth. Like, if you ask me to do a show in your apartment, you say, how much do you think this should be? I'm like, well, I normally charge 3,000, but, you know, you can add whatever you want to that. And most galleries charge, you know, double so they can get their expenses met. So, you know, it, it, it all depends on, on your self-worth, you know? Like, yeah. I mean, if, if, if I invite you to do something at the gallery and I tell you, you know, how much do you want, you know, to, to be there for like a week and you tell me this what it is, I'm like, I'm not going to argue because that's, that's your self-worth. You know, that's what you're worth. Okay, so I get the money together and, and I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, you know, it, it's what you are, what you think you're worth. Right. Why is it so important to increase your rates based on your experience? It's, it's, I guess it's subjective. You know, why do dead artists make more money than living artists? Mm -hmm. You know, dead artists make more money because they can no longer produce. Meanwhile, the living artist is still there trying to pay his bills. So it's sort of backwards, you know? I always equate it to how you pay a musician or real estate, you know, you bought a house 10 years ago and the rate of living, you know, increases. So everything in terms of prices increases. You could have bought a house in 1950 for 5,000 and that same house is now worth 600,000. You know, it's yeah. just, you know, just the rate of living increases just like everything else. It's not something that I did, you know, it's just the rules of life, whatever it is. You know, you could own a Mustang from 1965 and you bought it for $6,000 and if it's in nice shape, you can sell for 250000 a car. Mm. You know, so, I, you know, I, I can't explain how this works. If, you know, you're somewhere vacationing into a cave and you see this cave painting, you know, and you go, oh, wow, what's this? And then you report it. All of a sudden, you know, they close off the beach and, you know, it's no longer because it's priceless. How? Mm. how? You know, you, 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 I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I can't. Why do you spend fifteen thousand on a on a Fendi bag, but you know a nice bag by Calvin Klein is a hundred dollars? You know, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's 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 a hard one. It's a hard yeah. question to answer. I mean, okay, let me ask you: if 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 you had the money and you made a movie, right? Would right. you invest the money in an if, on an actor that no one knows or someone that will draw seats to make money? A combination of both, if I had to give an Yeah, yeah, of course, but, but if you needed that, if you needed, you know, like, a, yeah. a, you know, someone to, to, to be the main character, what would you do? Yeah, I would hire the person that has the experience. Yeah, see, I would bring in a big name, but I would make it mandatory that everybody else is brand new artists that, you know, young actors that can gain, yeah. learn, and, you know, push it. Yeah, same, likewise. <laughs> you know, so it's, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? So, like, if, if you're opening up a, a, a gallery, you know, and you want young artists, but you know that to draw people in, you're going to bring in some heavy hitters that will bring people in. And most artists like myself, if you open up a new gallery, I said, you know what, this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to send 10 paintings, and the first five, that money is yours to help you maintain the gallery for the rest of the year. The rest of the money, you know, we split it as normal. Mm -hmm. But then... You know, knowing that I'm going to bring people in and all of a sudden the next month you're going to have people in because we bought the man and on and on, you know. So it's the same type of thing. Mm 